start off Mellow TV Sports with some table tennis news as Jamaica national table tennis players Simon Tomlinson and Kane Watson continued their preparation for the Tokyo Olympic qualifiers with good performances at their training camp in Florida. Playing in the Florida State Championship over last weekend, Tomlinson came second in the giant round-robin competition division, while Kane took top honors in the under-2300 rating event. Watson's path to victory saw him staking the scalp of number one seed Alejandro Roldan from the Czech Republic in the round of 16-3-1 and national players from Venezuela and China before overpowering Jose Alvarez of Cuba 3-1 in the final. Tomlinson got by national players from China, Colombia, Cuba and the Czech Republic as well as the number one seed Richard Pietri from Puerto Rico 3-1 in the penultimate match before losing to Hector Beres of Puerto Rico 3-0 in the final. We bowl over to cricket news now. New Zealand today beat Bangladesh by 28 runs in their rain-affected, confusing second T20 international to clinch a series win with one game to play. Sent in to bat first by Bangladesh, New Zealand were 173 for 5 in the 18th over where their innings was cut short by rain. Bangladesh were ultimately set a revised target of 170 from 16 overs under the Duckworth Lewis and finished short on 142 for 7. Bangladesh were briefly left in a confusing position when it transpired that no one knew what the rain-affected target was. They began their innings thinking they needed 148 from 16 overs in Napier. However, there had been a mix-up with the mats. After nine balls, the match was stopped with the umpires having to go back to the Duckworth Lewis Stern method and ultimately change the target to 170 from 16 overs. At the end of the 13th over, the target was again then revised to 171. We kick it over to some football news now. Manchester City striker Sergio Aguero will leave the club at the end of the season when his contract expires. City informed Aguero they would not be renewing his contract after a season largely spent on the sidelines with injuries and illness, keeping him only to 14 appearances so far this season. Aguero, who was signed from Atletico Madrid back in 2011, will be honored with a statue at the Etihad Stadium, which will stand alongside those of his former teammates David Silva and Vincent Company. The Argentine international has helped City win four Premier League titles, an FA Cup, and five League Cups over his 10-year stay with the club, still chasing a quadruple this season. Aguero is also City's record goal scorer with 257 goals in 384 appearances for the club, having surpassed Eric Brooks' 78-year-old record back in 2017. On to basketball news now. James Harden triple double 38 points, 13 assists, and 11 rebounds saw the hosts, the Brooklyn Nets, hold on for a 112-107 victory over the Minnesota Timberwolves in the NBA last night. Harden posted his 12th triple-double of the season, all since joining the Nets, tying the franchise record set by Jason Kidd back in 2006-2007 and matched the following season. Elsewhere, Russell Westbrook also had a triple-double of 35 points, a season-high 21 assists and 14 rebounds to fuel the host Washington Wizards to a 132-124 victory over the Indiana Pacers. Zion Williamson scored 28 points and Brandon Ingram added 25 as the visiting New Orleans Pelicans defeated the Boston Celtics 115-109. Other winners on the night were the Miami Heat, Detroit Pistons, Memphis Grizzlies, Dallas Mavericks, Sacramento Kings, Utah Jazz, Golden State Warriors, and the LA Clippers. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Tamara Mikhail.